Fighting COVID-19 is a major challenge in most countries. But in Venezuela, where hospitals are running short of medicines and staff, the battle is even harder. Elena Suazo goes every day to this hospital in Caracas to care for her father. She says her presence is the only guarantee her father will be looked after. While my dad is there for me while he is alive, it is already a victory and we have to thank God. One more day of life for him. An ongoing economic crisis and sanctions are having a devastating effect in Venezuela. Thousands of healthcare workers have migrated. The government says it has tried to prepare hospitals in the country to fight COVID-19. This hospital, for example, has received help from Doctors Without Borders. It has running water and air conditioning, but it's the exception in the country these days. Janet Padron is in charge of the intensive care unit here, which is supposed to be one of the best prepared in the capital. The health system in Venezuela had deteriorated greatly prior to COVID-19. Every doctor knows this. It's a matter about resources, about health and sanitary conditions, even within hospitals. With a population of more than 28 million, authorities in Venezuela report fewer than 800 deaths by COVID-19. But the opposition says the figure is much higher because many people are afraid to go to a hospital or cannot get tested. Jessie Ochoa says her father died of COVID-19. She had to be isolated in a hotel with her family. We were received by the National Guard and we were told that we were under their care and if we tried to escape, we were going to go on trial for bacterial terrorism. Our rooms had no electricity, they were dirty, no water. It looked like a rat cave. It took a while before we were tested. We basically had to beg for a test because we wanted to get out of the hotel we were in. Experts say Venezuela's economic crisis may have helped it this time. The lack of gasoline has reduced movement across the country and slowed down the spread of the virus. In spite of the daily struggles people face, President Nicolás Maduro announced earlier this week that Venezuela has produced a cure for COVID-19. Quiero decir que Venezuela I want to announce Venezuela has created a medicine that stops coronavirus. After six months of trials, we can certify this study as part of the experts and scientists. With all proof, in the next days, we will go to the World Health Organization to ratify. Once it's ratified, we will start preparing the mass production of this molecule and give it to the world, a cure against coronavirus. But many people in the country have doubts. Venezuela was once one of the richest countries in Latin America, and now millions are struggling just to survive. It's a crisis that has been looming for years and that for now is unlikely to end anytime soon. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera.